Dr. Dickerson, can you give us some background about the Next Generation NCLEX initiative and how that got started? I think one of the important things to know is that, quite frankly, there's not one reason it got started. There are many reasons. It's been going on for about, as an idea for maybe five years and some real work for maybe three years. But if there were just a single reason, we would have already solved it, all right? Once you started peeling the onion, you started seeing some different things. So for instance, one of the things, any testing group that is the nature of the NCLEX, where you're licensing people and it's a public protection issue, any tester program should always, on some reoccurring basis, every five to six years, just ask itself a fundamental question, which is, are you testing the right things? So about six years ago, I said, it's time for us to just do a, a deep dive in this. Are you testing the right things? So that was one thing. One of the things that we started uncovering that is education's changed tremendously. When I went to nursing school, it was a textbooks-based world. And that's not the case anymore. People are learning online. They're learning through videos. They're learning through online discourse. There's a variety of things that are a lot different. And you look at the exams that are still being offered, not just in nursing, but almost anywhere, mm -hmm. they're standard multiple choice text-based questions. So that was sort of another element. You know, how do you make testing look like education? Mm -hmm. And then as we started looking at, are we testing the right things? It required us to fundamentally go out and say, all right, what is practice really like? Mm -hmm. 